Happy Monday, folks. Welcome back. It's Cam from the Santa Sales Houses team with another episode of our Monday market update. Not going to capture my Packers flag in the background today. That was bad. Anyhow, to all the football fans out there, hope you enjoyed the first week of the NFL season. It continues tonight with what should be a terrible game as the Seahawks begin the worst season of their entire lives. Anyhow, let's talk a little bit about real estate. So last week was an interesting week being that it was the first full week of September after Labor Day. And that usually brings a lot of people back to the real estate market as summer ends and people start to think again about buying or selling real estate. And that was absolutely true last week. We saw a nice little bump in the listings numbers, which were up to 206 last week, okay? So back over 200 new listings last week, all right? Contrarily, uh, we didn't see strong sales numbers. We only had 86 sales last week and 36 conditional sales last week. So kind of one-sided. I'm predicting that will not continue, all right? Uh, the buyer's market, uh, or sorry, the market for buyers right now is very exciting. There's a lot to look at. And if you're an active buyer and you're serious about buying something this fall, there should be no end of opportunities for you in the market. Uh, stay tuned a little bit later this week. So I'm gonna take a deep dive into what it's like to be a buyer in the fall of 2022 and highlight why I think it's possibly the best time that I've ever seen to buy real estate in London, Ontario. And uh, that should be coming out a little bit later this week. So stay tuned for that. Uh, as for next week, I think we'll still see strong listing numbers, but I would expect an uptick in sales as people start to report sales from this past weekend and things start to pick up uh, in the middle of the month here. Anyhow, enjoy your week and check us out again next Monday for another episode of our Monday Market Update. Cheers.